Hello YouTube. Um, today I'm going to show you guys um, how to create a Docker container and deploy it in a micro Kubernetes. So first I'm going to use micro Kubernetes here, but it actually works for any version of Kubernetes that you guys will be using. So just do sudo snap install micro kss dash dash classic. Um, let it start. On the other side, I'm going to actually look into uh, instruction to download um, Docker. So I'll just be copying and pasting all the instruction that's on the Docker CE web page. Um, we can just follow that instruction. Um, so right now I'm just adding a key, verifying it. It's a genuine Docker that's supported by Docker community. Um, just updating it and then um, installing docker container engine into my kubernetes machine here uh, let's just wait everything to be finished here it'll take a while now let's clear all of this mess here and now since we have micro kubernetes and docker installed in our virtual machine here you can use any any machine here let's just take the check the status of our installation everything looks fine i'm more concerned about metal lb why i'm gonna talk about that in a bit but let's check the version of the docker looks like everything is fine so this will be the structure of direct directory that I'm going to be creating here first what I'm going to do is like create an application um, directory inside it will be a docker file and then I'll create another directory source and then we'll be hosting index PHP so here I'm trying to enable um, I mean you could do it for all of the add-ons you can actually enable it but I, I need uh, metal lb so that my kubernetes deployment services uh, can have a ip assigned to it and it can load balance the network tra traffic to uh, multiple parts we, we are going to be doing that uh, just a bit in a bit in this video so just to make it easier i'm uh, creating a lice kubectl instead of typing micro k at s dot kubectl all every time will be will just create my job easier here so now i have um everything set up i'm gonna create a directory called application inside it like like i said earlier inside it will have one more directory called source it's gonna be hosting our index file while docker file will be outside of the source file like i have shown that in the tree so we'll go to the application directory create a new directory called source and oops so i'm just gonna create zedit index.php inside source directory and just be typing a simple php script to echo let's say hello youtube i'll save this file all right so Let's create a docker file inside a application directory now. Um, docker file should be capital. You can actually literally give any name to it, but just for simplification, we'll stick with docker file here. So from this is very critical. Basically, it extract the image file from the docker hub. I'll also you don't be it like there are already bunch of images on docker hub so i'm going to copy from source the index file from source to where www.html um, and i'm going to expose this container to um, port 80 so 
So basically, if you just go in the Docker Hub, you can actually find a lots of PHP images. I happen to choose 7.0 just uh, because it was easy. But there are like lot of, lots of PHP version as you can see in this list on your left side here. And if you scroll all the way down, there are like in some inst instruction on how to write a sample Docker file. Um, if you are more concerned like what is inside a uh, PHP file, what is the base image for that? For this one, it looks like it's running a uh, Debian Bluster Slim, but it's it's very complicated file, so it's out of scope for this video. But if you want to look into like what are those PHP base images made off of, you can actually look into that in Docker Hub. So let's save this, let's close, let's clear this mess out and see if you look into the tree uh, like I saw on the left hand side, it's, it looks something like similar to that. So let's go into the application directory and let's build docker. Dot means like I'm, on the I'm trying to build a docker image on the same directory. That's tag and let's give it a name my app. Now it's going to pull all the images that I earlier um, asked on my docker file it's actually pulling it from the docker hub right now um so my images is created so i'm gonna before i push those uh, docker images into a local registry i'm gonna have to create a local registry and that's the command to create a lo local registry just create a new uh, do this in a new terminal and don't close it if you close it then you're gonna you're not gonna be able to Push those Docker images into your local machine. Just verifying the Docker registry server is running. I'm just going to type localhost colon uh, and then the port number that we chose was 5000. So this should, okay, there's no error. That means it's running. Our Docker registry server is up and running. Let's go back to the terminal and let's see the docker images it's a, so docker registry as one of the images it's running its own container to host our local images now uh, within our machine so we want to tag tag is just a way of giving a name so on the same directory application where we created our local image earlier i'm going to name that local image my app and then um, I'm gonna tag it as a local host and then put it in a port 500. Just, just so that we can push this image in our local registry. So this is a command to push that image to a local registry. So it's starting to push that uh, images into a local registry now. Let's just give it a second all right so our local images is in our registry that's my app is something that we created on mason machine locally but the way kubernetes work is actually it needs to pull the image from somewhere so that's why like we created a local docker docker registry you could create your own server like um but you know that's one of the way so there's a concept of deployment where you actually tell how many replicas that you want to de be deployed services actually exposes your deployment to outside world so let's create a deployment using the images we created so that's a command kubectl create deployment uh, let's give it a name um, new app and then from image that we just created local host um, port 500 and the name of the image was my app all right so it's created let's check if it's already active no uh, it's not ready uh, it's gonna take a while Let's see if it's written. Okay, there you go. Part seems to be already running. So let's check the deployment. All right, there you go. There's a deployment ready. So now let's expose this deployment to the in outer world so that network can be routing. 
could be routed to this parts so that's how you do it cube CDL expose deployment um, that's a new app that we just created and uh, we want to do it as a type load balancer and then we want to give a port 80 but you could do literally any port there but target port tar we exposed our container earlier and port 80 so let's keep target port 80 there you go it says uh, service is now exposed and let's check the IP addresses of these services so those are the pools of IP addresses earlier we uh, assigned through metal LB now let's go to the web browser and let's see if it's um, actually working there you go so we just created a docker image and then we deploy it it in a kubernetes already so so let's say um our um parts are getting too much of a traffic and we're gonna scale it up so that's how we do it now quick serial scale let's say number of replicas to be 10 for a deployment called new app it's it's very easy so now it's scaled now if you see it's actually will it'll stack actually start to create a uh, more port parts so it's creating a containers 10 of them with same uh, image that we just created earlier so if you check a deployment now there you go like we have 10 out of 10 parts running right now so it's it can easily handle a lot of traffic so if you want to check um, the ML file or so to say configuration file you can just say describe and and keep serial describe deployment the name of the deployment it will show you all the configuration for those uh, deployments and if you wanna so that's my image and uh, let's clear this out so if you wanna edit um, a deployment after it's deployed uh, you could easily do that kubectl edit name of the deployment and then there you go like all the configurations are there you can actually change the number of replicas from here or you could do it through command line whichever is easier um, so I didn't make any changes here let's create this out So if you want to actually delete the deployment the command is simple keep cl delete deployment name of the deployment in our case would be new app so similarly if you want to delete as a uh, service you can just do keep cl delete services spc new app and then it'll just work that's, it was so if you want to check that's the tree that i created it's fairly simple that's the image we created earlier um, there's a, there are like few commands on your left of your screen right now those are the things it's it's very easy to create an image and to deploy it in the like kubernetes